Hello everyone, we will continue the topic LSMW. In the previous videos, video, we did the theory part of LSMW. Now we will start with the practical part of LSMW. And we will take the same to same requirement. We will migrate the material data, material master data into SAP. Previously, we migrated through BDC topic. Now we will migrate the material master data through LSMW. So I will go to transaction code LSMW. We know that transaction code for LSMW is LSMW. Now I will go for creation of project, sub project and object. In the previous video, we covered what is project, what is sub project and what is object. So I will go for go to, I will go for edit, sorry, I will go to edit and create entry or you can directly click on to this create entry button from here also. Suppose I will go for edit, create entry. I will give some name to the project. Suppose my name of the project is data migration. I will give the short description. Suppose data migration project. Now I will create a sub project. Suppose we will upload the materials. So I will give the sub project as mat upload materials upload. I will press enter. Now I will create the object. Suppose we will go for creation of the materials. So I will go for suppose I will give the object name as suppose mat create and I will write creation of materials. So I gave the project name, sub project name and object name. It's your wish, but the name you want to give and I will press end. Now I will click on to this execute button or continue button. Now you can see we have so many predefined steps given by SAP and in case of LSMW, we need to perform these predefined steps. You can see as of now, we have so many steps. Once I will go for execute, I will go to first step. What is first step? Define object attributes. Suppose if I will execute the first step, I will go to change mode. Now here, the most important point will come now. In case of LSMW, you have four methods. You have four methods. Whenever you want to migrate that data through LSMW, you have four methods. What is the first method? Direct input method. What is the second method? batch input recording method. What is the third method? Business object method that is called as BAPI also. And the fourth method is IDOC intermediate document. Whenever you want to migrate the data through LSMW, we have four methods. We have four methods of LSMW. Direct input, batch input recording, business object method that is also called as BAPI and the last one is IDOC intermediate document. In this case, we will go for second method batch input recording. We will migrate the materials into SAP through which method batch input recording. Before I will select this radio button, I will go to the back button and I will show you that you can see we have so many steps here. 
once i will choose a particular method the number of steps will be based upon that only i'll just choose the method then i will show you i will select the first step and go for execute i will go to change i am going for second method that is batch input recording and you will see in this particular method almost everything is same which we did in the pdc everything will be totally same now after selecting this radio button click on to this recording overview button now just remember when we did the bdc topic what we did we went to shdb transaction code and we gave a recording name here we clicked on to this recording overview button and when we click on to create recording you can see we have to give a recording name in bdc you did the same to same thing you went to shdb transaction code at that point of time and you click on to new recording button and you gave a recording name same to same thing we are doing here we will give some recording name suppose i will give the recording name suppose mm01 underscore recording now i will give the short description to the recording suppose mm01 recording enter now if you remember in shdb itself after giving the recording name you gave the transaction code you want to record the steps of which transaction code same thing we will do here also we will record the steps of mm01 i am pressing enter and you can see this is our mm0 transaction code create material you gave some material name material number you choose the industry sector you choose the material type and we pressed enter we are just recording the steps of mm01 previously we did through shdb in bdc now we are doing in lsmw through second method batch input recording we choose the basic data one now we will pass that description suppose material now we will give the unit of measurement ea and now i will click on to save button and you can see recording generated recording code generated in bdc also you did the same thing you transferred the recording to the program and in the program you are able to see the recording code this is your recording code there when you transfer the recording to the program here also we have the same to same recording same to same recording now you can see this is the matenar we gave this is our industry sector this is our material type this is the description of the material this is the unit of the measurement so this all is our recording you can see 60 screen number 70 screen number 404 screen number 4004 same to same 60 screen 70 screen 4004 screen now our five things if you remember we passed five things material number your industry sector material type unit of measurement and description material description these five things are coming from the legacy coming from the legacy if you remember in bdc program also 
we pass these things as a part of legacy these five things are coming from legacy here how you can tell sap that these five things will come from the legacy file you can simply select and go for default you can simply select default industry sector you can simply select default material type this is our description and this is our unit of measurement so these five things will come from the legacy file and how system will understand we simply has to select and go for default in bdc you wrote the code but here you simply has to click on to the default button now i will save i will go to back button now this is the recording which is done i will simply choose the recording name and this is the recording which we gave so now i will simply save so our first step is done in the lsmw what is the first what is the step so what is the step name define object attribute and what we are doing in this particular step we are choosing the method means means we will do the data migration by which method of lsmw and i choose the method batch input recording and you can see previously we have so many steps when we entered and when i choose the method batch input recording now you can see the number of steps reduced means we have only those steps which are applicable to batch input recording method now i will go to second step i will simply continue i will go to change mode what is the second step define source structure it means you have to give a name to the source structure just in this case what is our source our source is legacy because our data is coming from the legacy so we will in only give a name to the source structure i will simply go to execute i will click on to create button and i will give some name to the source structure suppose i am giving source underscore str suppose i will give the description source structure for materials i will go for okay and i will save this if you remember in bdc program also you did the same thing you gave the name to the structure source structure as lty underscore data now here we gave the name to the source structure as source underscore str now what is our learning in this particular topic in this particular video we created the project sub project an object after that we have a predefined set of steps we have so many steps at the initial level we went to the first step and lsmw can be we can do the data migration lsmw through the four methods and we choose the second method batch input recording and we uh, and we are able to understand that whenever you are using this method maximum and each and everything is similar what we did in bdc recording itself after that we went to second step and we gave some name to the source structure rest steps we will continue in the next video thank you